think I'm an explorer by nature. I like to explore paths that have not been trodden. My work is in the field of micro and nanofluidics, which is really about understanding and controlling the flow of fluid molecules, cells, at the micro and nano lens scales. So if we take a pipe and we pump water through it, we know that the flow is typically turbulent. But what if we take down the size of the pipe as small as a human hair? What happens is the fluid flows in straight lines and things change dramatically. So if we look at life, it all happens in water. You know, we are made of water. And so micro and nanofluidics, is, it's really a field that brings together different facets of nature. The analysis of blood is really important for diagnosis of a variety of diseases. However, the problem is that uh, blood analysis requires expensive instruments and it's usually done uh, in a laboratory. And this is not an option for many people in the world because they simply do not have access to high-tech facilities. So we made a microfluidic device which has a channel coated with molecules that naturally interact with molecules on the cell. Yeah. But we engineered it so that uh, we could put in a drop of blood into a device and steer certain cells out of the bloodstream uh, for analysis. We are trying to develop a new type of process that could potentially be done right at the point of care without the need for expensive instruments. It has always been my goal to develop technologies and methods towards a more sustainable, healthier and happier society. About a billion people on this planet lack access to clean drinking water. And we recognize that the xylem tissue that conducts fluid in plants could be used as a water filter. So how this works is that the xylem tissue in plants consists of these membranes which have these really tiny pores big enough to allow water to flow through the xylem, but they block the passage of larger particles. So the xylem filters could be used to realize water purification devices that are simple to use, safe, and an order of magnitude cheaper than existing technologies that would allow it to penetrate to communities that today do not have access to clean drinking water. We prepared our filter by simply taking a branch from a pine tree and cutting off a small section. We took this branch, mounted in a tube, we flowed water which was contaminated with bacteria and we found that this simple filter could remove 99.99% of the bacteria from the water. Right now, more than a million children die every year from waterborne diseases. And this technology has the potential to make a difference.